Welcome everybody, my name is Michael and today we're discussing about some very concerning news. This is impacting all Americans. 818,000, more than 818,000 jobs have been adjusted. So previously when reports came out and said, hey, our economy's growing, everything's fine, which it wasn't, we knew it wasn't, we felt it wasn't. My clients back when I was in car sales were telling me something's wrong here. I felt something's wrong here. The markets were acting weird. This is something that I don't know how it came to be, but if you made a 30% mistake in any job, think about it. You're a home builder and you, oopsie, hey, I built it with 30% wrong dimensions. That house would fall apart and you'd be in jail. If you made a 30% miscalculation in fuel, while flying over the Atlantic as a pilot, you would lose your pilot's license. Your plane would fall out of the sky and hopefully as a great pilot, you'd be able to glide on down like that one guy. But a 30% mistake is a huge mistake. And I understand that these reports come out every year and it's not just the government, it's the businesses. The businesses were lying. That's what makes it even more concerning and the fact that no one was able to catch such a huge, drastic difference. Because before, okay, there's small mistakes. This is a difference, a huge difference of negative and a half percent compared to a huge number. We're talking about over 200 million jobs here. And the growth went from 2.9 million to below 2.1 million. Which still, okay, it's growing. But yes, the population is growing and there's other reasons for that growth. It's falsely propped up. But... A huge thing is these fake advertisements for jobs. And I've seen it myself. I've been applying for corporate jobs and it sucks. This market is absolutely terrible. My wife has been applying for corporate jobs. It is terrible. I wanted to work in marketing and sales and whatever. I have years of experience in sales. I have years of experience in marketing. I have years of experience in customer service. I can make different resumes. I've had made different, different resumes. I've applied to over a thousand jobs this past year or really past year and a half. And I've never been in such a situation. My wife has been applying. She has a bachelor's degree. She's working on her master's. She's got years of experience in her field. And it's a very difficult, you know, there's one round, two round, three round. I just spoke with a company that says, hey, there's only five more rounds left. I'm sorry, but five more rounds left? What? Are you kidding me? So this job market is certainly not okay. And I hate being lied to. I hate when everyone says, no, everything's fine. Because this does make an impact. This means interest rates probably would have fell sooner which in car sales would have been great, but as a customer, even better. Because in car sales, you would have been able to sell more cars. But as a customer, as someone who uses, uh, or has used previously credit cards, and obviously interest rates regarding loans and uh, financing, financing a vehicle, or even worse, hey, this is the interest you have to pay back for other loans, I am taking out student loans, interest rates make a huge difference for everything. Even if you have zero loans, but you purchase a coffee, you purchase, I don't know, water, you purchase any product, any commodity, that is impacted by interest rates. And had this report come out sooner or with a smaller mistake, maybe interest rates would have fell. And that means maybe there'd be a little bit less inflation. And that means maybe there'd be some other measures being taken to stop these employers from lying and saying, oh yeah, we have 818,000 jobs. The economy's great when it's not great. These jobs disappeared. They, they just vanished out of thin air. Why? Because an employer is able to post seven job postings today and they don't really need to. They're ghost job listings. And this is a crazy, crazy thing that I know is happening all around the world. But specifically in America, like in Poland, the job market is bad, but it's in some regards a little bit better than the American market. This is just absolutely insane what's happening here. People with degrees, people with master's degrees, people who have tens of thousands or even potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt are being mistreated by the corporations, are being mistreated by the government, which is lying to its, uh, you know, voters right before an election over stuff that has a huge impact in their daily lives, whether they know it or not. And unfortunately, there's not a quick and easy fix for this. I understand. But whoever is in charge of this should be fired. Because if you made a 30% mistake at your job, I, I guarantee you, you'd be fired. And if not, you'd be on the chopping board next week. 
because that's a huge mistake, especially when you're talking about, oh, you know, I understand 1,000 jobs, miscalculation, 2,000. And they do these calculations, they do these analyses a couple months after the fact, after the payroll taxes come in. So they have actual proof of how many jobs have been acquired, how many people are on payroll now, and they are able to compare what's what's the the difference. Now, the problem is everyone says, oh yeah, it's never accurate. It's, it's, it, it's close, but it's never accurate. The difference is this time, for whatever reason, this year is different than last year or two years ago or three years ago. This was the most gross miscalculation since 2009, since the job market completely collapsed back in the recession of 2008. So what happened that this has been the worst error in job reporting in a 15 year period. That's gotta make you wonder there, what's going on here? Who's in charge? What's going on that these people are still able to keep their jobs when millions of Americans are having trouble finding a good job? And I'm talking about not a entry level position or a fake position that's just there because it's internal hiring through terrible HR practices. We have to get our stuff together, folks. The rest of the world is watching and there's millions of Americans who desperately need work. And what's happening in this country right now is it's just terrible. And it saddens me because as I'm growing up, as I'm maturing, I remember things were different as a kid, you know, before COVID, before, you know, 10 years ago, the job market was different. The housing market was different. You'd be able to get a car with, with amazing interest rates. And it, 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 there was so much opportunity. And it seems like now that we're finally adults, now that, you know, we've seen the the adults around us be successful and manage their money and have great returns on their 401ks, now that we're the adults and we're the taxpayers, we're just getting screwed left and right. And I'm not going to be able to afford a house for probably the next five, 10 years, if ever. And by house, I mean anything, like an apartment, a townhome, like whatever's available to me because it's just impossible at this point. It's crazy what's going on. Anyways, just wanted to hear what your opinions are on this matter. My name is Michael. This is a cryptocurrency, personal finance, and a little bit of a personal vlogging channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. I wanna hear your thoughts, considerations. Let's have a discussion down below. And if you're new to the channel, or if you've been a long time viewer as well, I've recently posted some stuff on my Volvo secondary channel. Uh, a lot of car content there. So if you're not interested, totally understand. But if you want to support, hey, give it a view. Uh, we're close to potentially monetizing that channel. Nothing crazy. You know, an extra $10 to $15 doesn't hurt, especially in this economy when a coffee has gone up by $2 and your gym membership has gone up by 15%. Certain products they've reviewed that over a five-year period have gone anywhere from 45 to 57% increase. Raising Cane's, for example, box chicken fingers and all that, which is great, by the way. I, I love them for one thing, the fact that you're able to get a free uh, box, especially in times like these. Any company that's giving free rewards just for signing up for that, it, it's awesome. But unfortunately, they've also raised their prices by 55%. Now, there a lot has happened in the past five years, so I understand why. But there's so many products, especially gas right now. I mean, it's just a crazy economy. So please share your thoughts below. Crypto has certainly been impacted by this. So that's why we discuss about this because all these macroeconomic events, they are what drives these crypto prices at its core as well. So please let us know. You have a good one and take care. Stay safe out there. Bye.